Okay, I think we got this. Maybe. It's just so confusing. So it is. Okay. Well, for once my laptop's actually faster than anything else is tonight. Hash TV, hi, how are you, bud? And BNSF 1982, hello, hello. Model Railer, how's it going, buddy? And there's Mr. Container Man 68. Streamed live 30 minutes ago. That was just a test because I am having major computer issues tonight. And I really don't know how I'm doing it. So, And Nate Jackson, Schoolkill River Valley, how are ya? And Dave, and top of my head's missing, isn't it? Top of my head's missing in this. So what did I do to that? Try that. Maybe my head's back. I don't know. Alex Alder, how are you, bud? Awesome, Jay. Hi. Uh, Alex Brockway, good day to you, sir. 2448 Toy Man. Nice to see you popping in, bud. And there's Mr. Just Nate. How are you, sir? And I was noticing in my uh, dining car video that I put up, the only person I didn't get getting off the dining car was Just Nate. And that's because he was using one of the other doors at the far end of the dining car, so... I kind of missed him by the time he got off, so. And good day, Buck. How are you? You got that train set all set up yet? Want to see some video of an end scale train and you standing behind it just for the, the effect of the size. And hold up one of your old O scale stuff and one of the little N scale things. And I'm telling you. <laughs> so how am I coming through, guys? The picture looks pretty good, nice and clear. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I can hear me because I get a ringing in my ears constantly lately, so must know I'm taking a plane trip for in a couple days. So, has anyone heard from Tom Pilling? I talked to him last week on the cell phone. That was about it. Wish I could go to Steamtown. Well, we were there. That's an awesome place, I'm telling you. If you guys do get a chance to go to Steamtown just on a vacation or something else. The first time I went last year, I didn't see it all. And then, of course, this year, I was a little preoccupied with other things, and I missed a lot of it this year. But a lot of videos out there for Steamtown, so I get to relive it through all those videos, which I thought is really cool. Because I'm I'm kind of amazed at how much I actually missed this year. So I am looking for some new subs. And some of my moderators, if you keep saying the word subs, they're going to nail you for it. So, no self-promotion in the chat until the end of it, guys. Digger Evans, how are you, buddy? Dave Piper. Highland Husky Mooch Squad. Now, there's a name for you. That's kind of cool. Might have to check that one out. Looks kind of new to my channel. Dave BNSF N Scale. Sounds fine. Picture very nice. That's good to hear. Um, yeah, every morning I get up, I have my coffee. And it's kind of nice because Amy brings my coffee up to me. Sets it down, and I watch about... 35 40 minutes of YouTube videos in the morning just to kind of wake up have my coffee chill before the day gets going and Today was no different Came in here. I watched some YouTube videos this morning, and uh, I always leave my computer on like I shut everything off But it's still on shuts itself off. I guess I don't know, but uh, I get home tonight and clicked on YouTube and it took like three minutes to open up and then I wasn't even signed in and I'm like well that's a little weird so then I went over to Internet Explorer or Microsoft Edge or whatever it's called for Windows 10 and I clicked on that and it opened up and then it shut right down and I'm like what the so I clicked on it again and it opened up and it shut right down I'm like okay that, that's just not right something's weird going on so of course I started my antivirus thing up and like I said the only thing really that this thing goes on is YouTube stuff Skype, a couple things for talking to people, MSN, or not MSN, that's what I wanted to say though, but uh, Facebook, Facebook Messenger's on there, blah, 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 right? So, 
I thought, well, that's that's really weird. So I opened it up again and I took a picture of it this time and across the top of my screen is MSN, 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 and then it comes up, please close off Windows, and then it closes down. So I kind of got to look into that after my stream. So I was kind of weird because then my YouTube was signed out, Google signed out, everything's all signed out. So I had to sign back into this stuff. So hopefully everything's kind of cool. He said, it, I never gone in anything any different not this morning not ever and now it's kind of acting up so call it a gremlin if you want but I think there's two of them this time really acting up PDRR engineer oh forgot the E sorry buddy and good evening to you goose in the caboose productions poll question how many watched my latest trains build episode I think I did but I watched so many videos it's hard to kind of figure out what it was so like not what your video was, but if I kind of watched it. So I'll go back and check it again. And I'll leave you another comment saying, yep, watched it twice now. So, wow, only five minutes late. Hey, everyone. Say, Vinny, did you get your new glasses? And how are they working out for you? EJ and E, Jeff, how are you, bud? And Buck, hello, model railer. Everybody's still saying hi to everybody. That's kind of cool. I like it. That's why we're all here. Um, one thing I do want to say tonight, guys, at 8.30, MS5107, Mr. Chasco, how are you, buddy? Yeah, give me that one too, Chazzy. Thank you, Chasco. I love that thing. I got to keep that thing around just because I started with it. I'm going to die with it kind of the way I look at it. So what was I saying? Someone tell me in the chat what I was talking about because I completely forget it now. So no, at, tonight at 8.30, JP Videos, and it's just like that, capital J, capital P, capital V, so JP Videos. And he might be in the chat later on, if not now, but he is doing his Steam Town video tonight at 8.30, and it's going to be a premiere. And the only thing he keeps telling me is I'm going to laugh my ass off because he must have a couple of really funny clips in it. Hopefully they're not of me, but you never know. So after this stream, guys, half hour later, like I said, 8.30, JP Videos is going to do his Steamtown video in a premiere. So I hope everybody from here can go over there, check it out. Uh, a lot of you guys that went to Steamtown, you met JP. He hung out for the full day, and uh, it was really kind of cool, actually. So he actually did a live stream that day and everything. So... Like I said, check him out at 8.30 tonight, and I'll probably say that again later on. So, But the one thing I really, really want to do is i got to thank you guys that went to the dining car. Um, just to talk a little bit about that experience, and I'll try to look at the chat while I'm doing it so it's not looking like I'm looking at you guys, but here's looking at you, Sam. <laughs> wow. Getting a little off topic there, aren't we? <laughs> awesome, Jay. Hi, Sparky. Jay and Jeff. Hey, Digger. K fan, the rail fan. Hey, Sparky. I met him at Horseshoe Curve, guys. So check his video out or check his channel out. K Flan, the rail fan. Really cool guy comes right up. Hey, you're Sparky. I was talking to you on Virtual Rail Fan. I'm like, hey, that's so cool. Took me a second to clue in, right? But yeah, I did. So NSVA Train 911. SMT Mainline, how are you? Dwayne Ernest. Goose in the Caboose Productions. That. And working on trains. I love when I pop in right in the middle of a conversation. It's so cool. So, and sidetracked yet again. Uh -huh. So, dining car. Um, I started that thing out because I really wanted to just, I wanted the experience of eating on an old dining car. Restored. That was kind of cool. And I threw that out to everybody that was coming to Steamtown and everybody in the community and, and everything else. And first thing I'm going to say is thank you very much to Erie Lackawanna Dining Car Preservation Society. Uh, you guys did, like I said, rock bottom pricing for us just to get us in there. Um, amazing, amazing dinner. Uh, I don't really like fish, but I thought, you know what? Top quality cooks are doing this. I'm going to have the salmon because it must be good then. And you know what? It really was. So, and people still saying hi jack jack oh crap got a bit on this brown tank car be right back i hope you get it bud but only bit a buck at a time so so yeah thank those guys right off the bat but i really want to thank everybody that did come and take part of 
the dining car experience. Uh, amazing people, amazing talk, uh, just a just a great time all the way around. And by the looks of the videos that are coming out, and the looks of the video that I took, doesn't look like a lot of people took video of the dining car. Because I actually did a speech in there. I was so proud of myself. I got up and I did that. Good day, model railroaders, and I talked and thanked everybody for coming and everything else, and I don't think anybody got it on video. So I'll never know what the heck I said after good day, model railroaders. Just gone. But that's all right. It was perfect. That uh, It ran about an extra half hour than what we thought. But hey, for the experience, what the hell? It was awesome. And then after that was the Hudson Model Railroad Club, and a big, big thank you to you guys. Uh, Right in the middle of a renovation you guys were doing, you opened up the doors to us. I'm not quite sure how many people showed up, but your room was pretty full when I was there. Checking it out. Amazing layout. Like, I'm telling you, that for 30 years being in the same place and hopefully 30 more years coming, that's a damn good job. And hopefully someday my layout will look just as good. And hopefully I can open my doors to a few people too and they'll say the same thing. Right on. I was going to say not bad, but I'm trying to give it up. I just can't do it. So, you did not get no video. Damn. Yeah, I know, man. I just, like I said, the all of the dining car video that I did take, I did actually post. So, hopefully somebody's got a little bit more. Hopefully. And if you do, post it! I want to see it. <laughs> did you eat a swordfish? No, it was just salmon. And it was really, really good salmon, too. So it had the skin on and everything, and that was kind of nice. I am a fan of trout with the skin on. Salmon with the, the skin on. I'm telling that was just a great meal. So, And cappers or capers or whatever the heck those little itty-bitty green things were, I didn't even touch one. I just kind of took them all off and put them aside. I don't know why I thought they were going to be as big as a mushroom, too. But they weren't. They were just, they were like half the size of a pea. So never did try them. Hudson Model Railway puts on a great show, something new every time. Yep, they're constantly changing the layout. Once they get something else done, they move on to the next thing. So, Alex brought me to your channel, and I love your channel. Well, thank you. That's kind of cool. This uh, this live stream, hopefully, is going to go okay. It doesn't lag or anything else. Like I said, I have no idea what's wrong with my computer and opening up the windows. and So, I might have to call someone in to actually look at it because I have no idea about computers trying to get I turn it on that's it as long as it does that I'm good so Nancy you are welcome hey Nancy how are you hope you're feeling really good today hopefully you're almost out of the hospital that'd be nice too if you're not already but guys take part in Nancy Jones little contest she's got going on five bucks is each entry um, I'm sure someone in the chat will put up the PayPal link for that just make sure it's like I said, it's five bucks, but make sure when you donate, you put for the contest or for the drawing. Lots of prizes are being given out by a lot of people, even Creative Rails last night. Benny, uh, the train set that he won on my contest, he's giving away to somebody that's entering her contest. So, hey, if you want to win a brand new train set, get in there for five bucks. Those things aren't cheap. So, and there's Nora doing that for us right there. So, that's cool, Nora. You can keep throwing that up there every once in a while. That's cool. Doing okay. I'm out. I'm at home. Hey, that's awesome. Good to hear that. And Mr. Vinny. Nope, not missing anything. Hi, Dave. What's happening? Hey, Henry Lewis. How are you? Renee Griffin. And then W475 saying hello to everybody. So it's nice to see everybody still saying hello. How's the shed coming along, Sparky? Well... It's kind of funny. You take a weekend off and go away. You come back and nothing's done. And then you find out that the inspector didn't like part of the job, so he had to redo part of it. And for some reason, we called for an inspection a couple days ago, and the inspector either isn't showing up, or he's not telling us if it passed or if it failed. And I, even I called the inspector today, and I'm like, hey, like I'm the homeowner. Can you at least tell me what's going on so I can make plans for it? Not a call. So um, hopefully the guy's all right. That's the, that's my first thought right there. Something's happened to him or his family. Hopefully not. But I'll give him a call again tomorrow and 
hopefully see what is going on because right now I've got a lot of a gravel sitting in my backyard. It's all packed down, waiting on concrete. And now because the inspector hasn't said anything about it, the concrete got canceled. We were supposed to do it on Friday. Now we can't because we don't know if we can or not. So it's kind of ticked me off, I guess you could say. So, But when the progress on the shed starts and goes any farther, I will do some video and get it out there. Show everybody how it's going. Richest Discoveries, how are you, bud? So, sorry for the sniffing, guys. It's got to be live streams that I'm allergic to because I can go, like, all week and not have to sniff. But what I did want to talk about today, and basically, I'm going to throw this on the floor just for now. So, And I'm going to stop watching the chat for a bit. So, hey, say what you got to say. <laughs> but... You get all these different companies, and they all make the same thing. So we got Bowser, and we've got Atlas Train Man, right? And we've got Intermountain, and we've got Arrowhead Models, and we've got Broadway Limited. Woo there you go. As you can see, it's a three-bay hopper. Now, I've gone out, and these are all from Otter Valley Railroad. I did a little bit of shopping there a couple days ago, around the weekend, and my curiosity got spiked. You pay all these different prices, there's all these different companies, so I wanted to finally go out, get the same type of car, so it's a three bay or a two bay, but it's a coal hopper, open top, and I wanted to know what you got for that price and what the difference is between all the manufacturers. So. Like I said, these are the ones I got, and I'm going to start with the Bowser one. For $24.99 at Otter Valley Trains, so it's ovrtrains.com. So, you get the lovely green package, right? And how am I going to do this? We can all kind of see it, and I'm not going to throw things around, drop it, and everything else. Because we don't want to drop ours. So I'm going to lower you guys down a little bit. There we go. So, like I said, for $24.99, this is Canadian pricing, by the way, there's what you get. See if I can get a little more light on the subject. Webcams aren't the greatest for this, but smash that like button, folks, for a wonderful host and a great friend. Hey, cool. Thanks, Nora. And we have Hornby, Bachman, Dadpole, and Lima. That must be over in the UK. Glad to hear that everyone is doing good so far. So am I. I like when people are doing great. And we're all here hanging out. So that's cool. And level of detail. And that's what I would think too, right? It's your level of detail for things. And of course, some of these, the detail is very high. So this one from Bowser. You can kind of see a little bit on it. It's not going to be great. But it does have rivet detail on the outside. we got a brake wheel sitting up there on the top. Looks like a KD coupler. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I really don't know what my couplers are. I just know if they're either metal or plastic. And we got some detail on the inside there that you can kind of see. So you got the air cylinders, a couple piping pipes on the bottom. Very little. Well, basically you can say nothing. And comes with the coal load. Woohoo! Hold on to those. So there's your coal load. Hopefully it comes out for me without busting it. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, don't come out then. There's a will, there's a way. I'm telling you, I'm getting this sucker out of there. Stay. Maybe I'm getting this out of there. There we go. All right. Inside detail. Very limited. Like, eh, it's not bad. It's not great. So, Bowser. $24.99. Full load included. Comes out, which is good. Goes back in, which is even better. Lee Valley. Paint's pretty good. Mind you, black and white. How, how do you screw it up, right? So, now let's get those likes up to 50 as well. Hey, we got 50 in here? That's kind of cool. Yeah, 48 watching. Sweet put that away before I do hurt myself not that I've ever done that before so 
kind of remember that and, and the price like I said these are all Canadian prices and they're all from Otter Valley trains OVR trains so the next one I want to look at is train man now price thirteen dollars and ninety nine cents I don't know why they just don't say fourteen bucks but whatever So, not too bad for getting her out of the box. A couple spare parts. Now, these are going to be bracing for inside. So, we'll have a look. Pop it open. That one's still in the box and hit the floor. We're doing good. So, come on, give me this. Come on. Of course, I'm never going to get these in the right boxes later on. So, Whatever. So Atlas Train Man, very budget friendly, $13.99. Again, comes with the coal load, that's good. Air Reservoir, not huge, but this one's actually got a little step plate on the outside of it. There, you can see it there. So that's a little bit more detail than the Bowser had. See some of the detail on the end. It's pretty, like I said, with a webcam, it's kind of hard. Creative Rails, how are you, sir? David Moose. And again, black and white, so you can't really screw that up too much. Now, this one I can tell has plastic couplers on it. But they're still knuckled. But I probably want to change those out to KDs. Just so they all match. Underside detail, again... And we'll bring over the one from Bowser. Boom. So pretty much the same details. And again, trying to get the coal load out of here. Could be fun. Come on. Should have just left the knife over here. Oh, just about got it. Come on. Really? Really? Oh yeah, then he just fall out. So, inside detail. Again, this one you can see a little more rivet detail. That's not bad. But it was the cheaper one already. $13.99. Change the couplers, you're doing all right. Coal load, not too bad. All right? I can't really see it, me either. I know, it's kind of blurry. I don't know if I move this back. So that gets a little bit better. So again, you can see some of the detail for the air reservoir. Now, the biggest thing I'm looking at here is what you get for what you're paying for for the different companies. And yes, I know this is HO. But I'm always kind of curious because a lot of people think, you know what, more expensive, then obviously it's got to be better. Well, right there, I can tell you at $13.99 compared to $24.99, I kind of like the Atlas one better already. So, then we get into Inter Mountain. Bigger name in the company, $42.99. So, you're expecting this one's going to be a lot better. Like triple the price, pretty much, right? Intermountain. Chesapeake in Ohio for this one. Again, black with white. I tried to get all that kind of the same. Toss that down there. Put that over there. Take it easy, Digger. I'll catch you later on, bud. Now, $42.99. Hmm. So, right off the bat, what I'm noticing is there's no coal load. All right. So, you guys cheaped out on that. Whatever. But there is a little bit more detail in there. You can see some more rivet detail. Not bad. But three times the price come on at the end we got the brake wheel the air reservoirs there's a little bit well there's quite a bit more piping in this one again I wish I had a better camera for it the ledge is there brake wheel these ones for sure look like Katie couplers plus you got another air hose on the front kind of sort of see it there Under detail, eh, a little bit more, a little more 
rivet detail on there. But the side, you got the markings for the doors and everything. Uh, they saw you coming. Yeah, on this one, they might have. But like I said, I just wanted to grab a bunch of them. Different companies, different prices. Again, I think, come on camera, get in there. Woo Show my finger just fine, just not the print. But print is clear and legible. You would expect that. So if you take a coal load from the other one, would it fit in this one? Should. Nope. Of course not. So you got to make your own coal loads for that one too. But again, forty-two dollars and ninety-nine cents. Did you like? I know the camera really sucks, but I don't see that big of a difference in detail. If I did that, could you tell which one's the more expensive one then? Eh. Now it comes to the big one. This one was forty-eight dollars and ninety-five cents. Uh, Arrowhead Model Railroad. So you got to go to their website for it. It's a little bit bigger. So there's the first thing. So it kind of goes on to a different kind of car altogether, I guess. Again, the coal loads come out of this one. They look a lot more realistic. The detail on this rivet detail, everything is amazing. Separately applied grab irons. Awesome couplers. Pretty sure those are KDs. Again, it's got the extra hose on there. Air reservoir. Oh, this end. A lot of piping. Hard to see on these things. Maybe I should have picked flat cars, huh? <laughs> Lee Valley, my backyard, basically. That's cool. $13 gets my vote. Well, it kind of does mine right now, too. But, like I said, the detail on these ones... And the cold load does come out. There's a lot of detail on the inside too. Even the step plate that's on this one. You can see it kind of sticking out right there. But it's etched. It's got little holes in it. It looks like it's metal. Color. A couple of cut levers. So all kinds of stuff on this one. This one was $48. Intermountain, $42. All right. So... Eh. Intermountain, I think, does not have my vote for too much of anything. Not for that price. Not for what you kind of get compared to all the detail you get from the Arrowhead one. So I'm going to put that one there. That one goes over there. One more to look at. Another big, big name. Broadway Limited. Now this one comes in a set of six. But if you work that out... I think I made it out to about $26 each. So we'll take it. It does not look like anything separately applied. So everything's molded in there. Again, black and white. Keep it a little on the same. So only the first one from Bowser didn't really have the step plate there to walk on. Brake wheel. Again, it looks like Katie Coupler's on these ones. Might be different. Alex Brockway. <laughs> the ducklings are all safe. Hey, good evening. <laughs> and Alex, Amy was actually downstairs not 10 minutes ago showing her mom your video. She thought it was the cutest thing in the world. So. <laughs> Buddy. Keep that camera going, Alex. You're doing great, bud. Jennifer White, they were have you been. Hey, Jennifer, how are you? If you're in here. Wow, the $13 ones works just fine. I'm kind of leaning that way, but so again, the detail in the ends. Not too bad on there. Again, it's got the extra airline on there maybe I should have picked something that wasn't black too but you can see all the 
air reservoirs and a little bit more piping in this one. It's from the Broadway Limited. And again, pretty sure all the coal loads come out of these things. I just don't want to fight with it too much. So if you're one of these people that has to spend mega bucks on a train car to make it look really good, and I do think it does look the best for sure, Arrowhead models, perfect. It's, it's a great looking car with all the detail and everything else. 42 bucks, I think is what I said. Oh, 48.95. So Atlas or Broadway Limited, a little bit more detail, but still pretty plain. So you might as well spend the extra money and get real good detail on it. But I'm very, very disappointed in Intermountain. For the price of $42, and you don't even get a coal load and everything else gave you one, it's kind of ridiculous. So, eh. But we go to that $12 one. Atlas Train Man. And all you got to do basically for this is change the couplers. Everything's got metal wheels on them nowadays. But there you got it. Not bad at all, I don't think. For what you get. 12 bucks, why not? So, gonna go with the Atlas Train Man for that. Like, if you're running wrong, long racks and stuff, but a lot of these cars you're just gonna have sitting in a coal yard, right? Waiting, sitting, just for basically a static display. So, if they're off in the distance and stuff too, you can't really tell about the detail and everything. So, go with that one. If you're running it and you really like a detail and you're a rivet counter, then your arrowhead is the model to go for on that one. Very, very nice, I think. Okay, so let's see if I can get those out of my way. Voila. So what do you guys think of all that stuff? Like I said, $12 all the way up to basically $50. <coughs> I'm doing good, and you run. That's Henry Lewis. Leisure Line Railroad, 12 bucks wins. I think so too. And why not? But like I said, I'd stay away from Intermountain on that kind of a thing. Now, the other brand of coal cars that you can get. Now, this one's a set of six. But if you break it down and they're 27 bucks, value line from Intermountain. So now we're down to $27, but what do you get for that? Come on. A little bit on the bigger side. More of the modern style coal hoppers, I guess. Bottom detail. Well, kind of lacking. Metal couplers. Those are Katie's. I'm sure they got the springs in them and everything. Paint's pretty good on it. I like the inside on that one, but again, no coal load. And if you really were running that empty, you'd want to like really weather that up and add some dust and crap in there. Kenneth Ammos Jr., B&O, High Sparky, and all the model railroaders. In detail on this one, you guys aren't going to be able to see it too much. That's why I'm tipping it around a bit. Air reservoir and stuff is in there. But it just looks like a chunk of plastic. A round piece of plastic. That's it. Brake wheel. No extra ladder parts. And it is all molded in. So, kind of plain and simple on that one too. And the only thing Otter Valley had for me in end scale, so we could kind of match it up. I think this is more of a wood chip car. But again, you got the brake wheel. Kind of hard to see, I know, because it's end scale. I might say that a couple times because it's end scale. <laughs> Under detail, that's one big tub to dump. For end scale, though, painting on it is pretty legible. 
Nicely done. Black and red is probably a little bit better than black and white. And inside, I'm not sure, but that does not come out. You can see it's kind of ribbed like that. So maybe that's supposed to be wood chips or sawdust or something. The Tinkering Geek, how are you, bud? But that one is to be that one. Difference for HO and N scale. And maybe Buck can show us the difference between an O scale and an N scale at some point. Right, Buck? <laughs> for that price on the coal car, they should have given you real coal. Well, even fake coal would be nice. At least then it's in it. But there's no load in this one. And again, no load, intermountain. I see kind of a trend there for some reason. Now, let's see if that trend continues with other companies then. So I wanted to look at these kind of, the more modern type of, I'll put that over there for now. The more modern style of coal hopper. Just to see. So again, Atherin Roundhouse. Now this is another kind of budget friendly one you would think, but it's $25.99 from Otter Valley Railroad. It's popcorn, no popcorn. Now, Atherin gives you a coal load. Imagine that. Hey, that one just pops out, perfect. There is rivet detail on the inside, not very much. But at least there's some cross bracing in there too, so you can run that a little on the empty side. Outside's not too bad. Painting's nice and crisp. Again, brake wheel. Little ledge to stand on, but it's just a flat piece of plastic. Doesn't look like anything really. It might be metal couplers. And detail on the inside, like I said, it's just, it's not terrific. But how many people are actually looking in there when your train's running by anyway, I guess. And underside detail. It's there. Now, I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not. Can I move that around maybe? No, you can't. But there's actually holes right down in there. So all these spouts, they almost look like they should try to open. So they're separately Separate pieces put on the ends here for the doors. That's kind of nice. I guess if you wanted to, you could always take them off and call them broke. So, Atherin, $25.99. Not too bad. Kind of on the budget friendly. Detail wasn't too bad. Now we're going to go to the Bowser one. So Bowser for the other one was $24.99. Wasn't too bad for details and stuff. Red Caboose is now Fox Valley. Really? They changed their name? Wow. Uh, this one's actually wrapped right in plastic. That's I have never seen that done before. Huh. Very different. Sure. Thank you, Bowser. Painting's nice. Safety stripes are on there. Metal wheels. Brake wheel. Can you see the brake wheel? Brake wheel is painted brown on this one too. And it actually looks like it's molded right there, but not separately applied. Pushed in, probably glued pretty good. This one though, you can see more of the air reservoir and no piping really. But a lot more detail, a lot bigger detail or crisper. I don't know how you want to say that. No coal load again, but there is the cross bracing in there. Can I see it? Maybe that way. So not bad. You could run that empty. I really like the patch job on that one, but we're not really talking about paint jobs. But that was really kind of nice. Kind of cool look. So Bowser, again, $25.99.
Now, I'm not making any judgment calls or anything else. You guys can do that in the chat. What's better, what's best, what you guys would pay for stuff like this. Yeah, close it later. I always end up with a big mess for some reason on the floor. So, again, we got Atlas Train Man. $27.99 from Otter Valley. I keep saying Otter Valley because I, I, I like shopping there because I do find their prices to be almost the cheapest around. Especially around me. Like, you go to a store in Markham and their prices are ridiculously high I find but and they change every day for some reason Atlas train man right away they got the coal load that doesn't look half bad break wheel on that end Air reservoir and stuff is way back in the back, but you can see again the little walkway there to stand on. Again, no separately applied parts except for your couplers, and they are definitely plastic. So you're going to want to change those out. And the wheels, I think the wheels almost feel plastic on this one too. So, whoop. Hey, you know the problem with this one right now? The coal load fell out, and that's where they put the weights. So how is that going to wreck, or that's really going to change the performance of that car, I bet you. Huh. Because a lot of them, they put the weights down on the sides, and then they put a cover on top of that so you can't see it. Theirs is on the coal. So you run this one empty, you're running her light. Huh. Or something new, but at least the coal load's easy to get out, I'll tell you that much. It just falls out. That's the train man, Atlas Train Man. Like I said, $27.99 for that one. And again, not a lot of detail, right? Now, remember our Intermountain one from last time? Well into the $42 for it. This one's $38. I'm not going to understand pricing of stuff at all. Because this car is bigger than the last one. And it's cheaper than the last one. That don't make no sense to me at all. So there's more material in this one. And bathtub coal gondola. Now right away, oh there is some nice weight to that one though, I'll tell you. Like wow, that's a very, very heavy car. Very different all the way around. Should be a brake wheel up there or something. There it is right there. Brake wheel. Air cylinders. So I do like the looks of this car. Hmm. Painting's pretty good. Goes right around on the ridges and stuff. Undercar detail. Pretty much non-existent. It's pretty much the way it goes, I guess, for this kind of stuff. So this car pretty much matches the end scale car. Like I'd say, pretty much. It's bang on. This has a coal gondola on there, but $38.99 for that HO scale one. You can see the brake or the The what, how did I forget what that was? Anyway, brake wheel, little handrails on this one is like, that's almost spot on. End scale, HO scale, you can see the railings on them, that's nice. So I do got to say, for detail with end scale compared to HO, they're not missing too much. Little handles there. Now, this one for Intermountain does have separately applied parts. Try to show them to you. If I go this way, maybe you can see the little steps that stick up and out. Move my finger into it, maybe. There it is. So, there. I guess you're spending a little bit more money for the separately applied stuff. But, 
now we can all kind of talk about what do you guys think like is that worth the pricing you're spending the extra money on some of this stuff you think the detail was actually there because when you're a lot of people shop online right i'm going to move these up now because i'm pretty much done showing you guys everything so hello hey how are you <laughs> <coughs> so a lot of people shop online and you don't get to look at the product except in a picture so hopefully you're buying exactly what's in the picture but just wanted to kind of highlight like i said the different name brands that are there and how much detail you can kind of expect through them yep that's upside right and a bowser Yeah, Broadway Limited, Value Line. Can't really see that slide. Come on. Eh, you guys get the idea. Oh, look, my phone cannot spell again. <laughs> I love your shirts, Bergy. Thanks, sir. I kind of like it, too. When we were down at Horseshoe Curve on the uh, Sunday there, they got lots of shirts for Conrail. And, of course, I'm looking through them, and the wife's doing that. Hey, you want one? I'd love to buy you a shirt. Hey, do you want me to get your shirt? I was looking at them, and they were gray with blue word Conrail. That's it. It said Conrail. No locomotive, no nothing. And of course, they had this one there. Kind of already got it. Don't need to. So then they had the blue one with white lettering that said Conrail. I'm like, no, I don't want a shirt that just says Conrail. I want to see a Conrail. Come on. So I didn't get another shirt there. But I did get a coffee mug there, and it holds two coffees in the place of one. I love it. So I only have to run downstairs once. Well, no, I don't, because Amy brings up my coffee for me. So I think that's kind of cool. Do you have any scale trains rolling stock? I do. I've got some of their box cars. I've got quite a few of their tank cars in both operator and rivet counter. Um, I think that's all. Oh, I got some of their hoppers, too. Uh, for their hoppers, though, I am going to suggest... And I know, like, Jack-Jack, for one, will kind of tell me I'm crazy. But I found with their hoppers, you should really go with the rivet counter. Or if you're going to go with the, the basic operator's mode, buy the extra pack for the pieces that you can stick on it, like the grab irons and, and railings and stuff like that. Because as cheap as it is, you still get all the holes and stuff where they are supposed to put all that stuff. So you get the operator one, and, and you're looking at it, and it's got holes all over it for grab irons and steps and all kinds of stuff. So you might as well get the extra kit and fill in the holes or make your own. That's always an idea, too. So uh, BNSF 6951 saying something is S scale. Hey, Norabot, Mr. Nora. Jack-Jack, uh, weathering... And that's another thing, too. Like, if you're getting into the coal hoppers and stuff like that, you really want to try your hand at weathering, I think. Because if you're going to run them empty, you're going to want some dirt and grime and coal dust or something, whatever you've been moving around with these things, you're going to want it inside there. Too clean is just too nasty, I think. So, but the cheap one, I think it's not the best one, but very budget-friendly. What was that? Thirteen dollars and ninety-nine cents, Canadian, Otter Valley Railroad, and you know what? You get a rack of those, and it's got some good weight to it too. You can always add weight, right? That's not bad. So get a rack of like ten of these. They look pretty good running down the the layout, I think. So Atlas Tree Man, pretty much for the win. Bowser with a close second, but they're $24.99. Um, Intermountain, the second car, their their more updated version. Kind of nice, but the, the first one, $42, $43 for that. I don't think so. I wouldn't do that again if I if I wouldn't wish that on anybody. So <laughs> Rail Rider Abby, be safe, bud. Uh, good evening, Vinny and Nora. And thank you. You're welcome. It's a bad for the price. 
it is bad for the price and that is the thing too like like i said because a lot of people shop online you don't know what you're getting so if you're thinking about details and stuff like that you can always come back to this live stream video later and kind of check it out like if you're going to buy a bunch of bowser stuff their pictures aren't great and stuff you can always kind of come back here and we talked about it right so i know the the webcam doesn't do great pictures or anything but for detail and stuff go with the atlas 13 bucks you can't really go wrong for it so but if you if you're the rivet counter go with that arrowhead stuff because that's some really nice metal etched plating and grab irons uh coupler cut lever like it was all on there and that was 48 bucks so And all the manufacturers seem to be upping the details. I think that has a lot to do with scale trains, actually. Just because when they first came out, scale trains was actually pretty cheap, even for their rivet counter cars that you were getting. And the box cars that you get from scale trains, the ones you put together and stuff, they're like 15 bucks. And the detail on them isn't that bad. So... But yeah, everybody's kind of following suit on that. Like, you don't want to fall behind the competition, right? So, it's kind of nice that I found that, though. <laughs> well, that was pretty much it, guys. What do you guys think about detail, price? Like, what's the max that you really want to pay for the amount of detail that you would want? Like, if I threw up $35, what kind of detail would you guys be looking for for $35 when it comes to a coal car. Now I'd be looking for a little bit of extra parts put on there. Brake wheel attached for sure and I definitely want to coal load it with it. I know you can make your own that's not that hard but that's not the point. For the price of 35 bucks there should be something. All the cheaper brands can give you a coal load. More expensive Intermountain? Nope. Not giving you nothing. You get the car. That's it. So what broke? Don't know. New cooking vid coming up, Frank. Oh, Vinny's getting into the cooking again. And in October, he's going to have to cook those meatballs again. Because we're all going to go out and do Halloween at Joe G's place. <laughs> so we're going to have to eat before we go out, bud. No cooking video unless there are to eat some. Well, there you go, Jack Jack. Hop in the car and head for Vinny's place. Tell him you're on your way. <laughs> Frank Muir, love the vids, Vinny. Good. Martin Seaman staying on the tracks is most important. Well, that is true, so a good amount of weight. But like I said, even if the car is a little bit lighter, you can add weight to it. That's not that bad. You can go and get fishing weights. You can get automotive weights for your tires. Uh, eBay sells like flat weights pretty cheap with sticky on one side. So there's always that option. Uh, in N scale trains, hard to tell which has more details. Well, the one that I just showed, I have no idea what I did with it because it's so small it just disappeared. Imagine that. Really? Well, it did. But it did have some pretty good detail with it. Anybody see what I did with it? Nope. I'll find it tomorrow when I step on it, probably. Should I buy model trains? No, yeah, why not? They're fun to play with. All you need to get started is like a 4x8 sheet of plywood. Do a little oval track in there. Get some building set up. A couple switches for some switching operations. Not bad. You should keep the weights within NMRA standards. Well, there is that. So, but Like I said, when you buy some of them, if they feel a little bit light, check the NMRA standards and add the weight that you need it. But for sure, like that inner mountain one, putting the weight with the coal load made no sense to me. It even makes the car top heavy. So going around a bend or something, I don't know, just kind of weird. Holy Moses, we have a storm coming in. Eh, not me. So OVR trains, nice to see you in here, bud. And speaking of OVR trains, just before I close off here. Now, remember, guys, I said JP videos tonight. JP videos. 8.30 Eastern Time is doing his Steamtown video and it's going to be a premiere so he'll be there to talk and so will I and there's going to be a few other people that were there 
Uh, Rich Discoveries was there. He was in the chat a little while ago. Everybody will be there if you got questions or want to talk to people and see kind of how it was. But it was awesome. I'm telling you. But OVR Trains, one, he likes my contests. So, and I am not saying we're having a contest right now. But when I was there, he nicely gave me this and said, this is for a major contest on your channel. So, guys, we got to think of what kind of a contest I can have. And I got to, obviously, I got to find something for you N-scale guys, because I can't hold an HO scale contest without having N-scale. But for the HO scale prize, Lauren from Otter Valley, nicely gave me, I think these are called barn units. I like this thing so much, I almost want to keep it. But this thing's awesome. So, in an upcoming contest that I do not know what it's going to be for yet, I have to talk to Lauren about that a little bit. Good, it's screwed on there. That thing's awesome. Look at that. So you guys are going to be able to win this at some point. Probably in the next month. So you HO scale guys are just, you're going to be biting it. I've never seen one of these things except I think Chris Govier Go Home has one or one of his friends had one. And if Toy Man's still in here, he could probably tell me. That's called a barn unit, right? It's a GMDSD40-2F. Awesome detail. Bowser. Sound. So it's DCC. Just awesome. Telling you guys, I, I shouldn't have got it out of the box. I want to keep this. So, I'm going to have to talk to Lauren about maybe getting another one. Because <laughs> it's cool. So, if you guys got any ideas for a contest, what kind of a contest should I hold to give that kind of a thing away? Because this is awesome. So, if you got any ideas, throw them up there in the chat. You know, I'll definitely think about it, but that's pretty cool. And, hey, you guys can all say, hey, don't have a contest. I should keep it. I'm okay with that, too. You know that? So if you guys want me to just keep this and don't worry about contests, that's, that's good. I like that answer right there. So, but up and coming contest next little month, I think, so. That's pretty much it for me, guys. Uh, let me know if you have any contest ideas. Throw them up in the chat now. But I really want to know, how many subscribers do you guys have following your channels? Do you have any contests coming up? Or do you know of anybody with a contest? I know of a couple. Container Man 68 is right up there. He just got his 1,000 followers. So now he's doing his live streams again. That's cool. And are you near... The milestone on your channel. Eh, not really. No milestones coming up. The next milestone I'm kind of looking at is if I ever get there is 5,000. So, has idea. Sparky, you should keep it. You deserve it. Hey, Alex, I like you. <laughs> Again. <laughs> I might have to take that out with the OBR trains, though. He might have something else to say about that, so. Limit the contest to 57-year-old N-scale models who went to Steamtown. <laughs> I, who would that be, Anthony? <laughs> I like that one. Uh, Container Man 68 has 1,030 now. That is pretty cool, buddy. Dave from BNSF N-scale, 3,500. Alex Brockway has 80 today by the end of the week. My goal is 85, but I'd love to see you hit 100. Because you were talking about having a contest when you hit 100, too. So... And there's 53 people in here. If you're not subscribed to Alex, check him out. I'm telling you, all these place, all these people in here, very, very cool people. Check out their channels. Check out a couple of their videos. If you really like them, hit the bell on their channel. And then next time when they post a video, you can see it right away. Uh, Dave Piper, 138. School Kill River Valley, 132. BNSF, 6951. My brother, Vinny, 3380. And John, 26, 18, 440, 1,000 is my milestone. That's a good one to get. 1,000 when you get to that, just, it really, 
Ah, I won't give it away, but it's a good feeling. It's really cool. Did a double live stream today was uh, Mr. Container Man 68, and I got to go and watch part of that. I think it was almost an hour long, but uh, Just Nate has 140 subs contest at 500 subs. And Just Nate, starting in June on Mondays, is going to be having a live stream, 7 p.m. Eastern. And I kind of forget what it was called. It was something about narrow gauge, narrow minded Mondays. That's what it was. Sparky, let them know some cool teaser content is coming soon. Oh, yeah, it's coming. I, their OVR Trains has an exclusive locomotive about to hit the market. And, guys, my channel is actually going to get exclusive video of the model and the real locomotive. That's about all I'm going to say about it. But it's going to be really cool if they let me drive it. You know what I'm saying? Ah, I can't wait. It's going to be cool. Um, sorry, I probably said too much. So, JP Videos, there he is. Hey, Spark, just dropping in now. Not sure if you mentioned it, but the Steamtown video premieres at 9 p.m. Eastern. I thought you said you were doing it at 8.30, but okay. Um, no, JP, I haven't mentioned it yet. Um, but guys, JP Videos is premiering his Steamtown video tonight at 9 p.m. So hopefully everybody from here is going to jump over there and check it out. Because if you were at Steamtown, you did meet Jay. Um, awesome guy, man. I'm telling you. And yes, JP, I did mention it a couple times. But I did say it was at 8.30. So, guys, sorry, it's at 9 o'clock. Uh, you'll have to pop some popcorn for it and grab an extra drink then. So, that's pretty much it for me. Uh, next week, I'll, next, next week, I'm telling you, I'm not going to be home next week. I'm going to be in San Jose. So, I do have an idea next week for my live stream. But that's all I'm going to say. If it's not going to work, an hour before I do my live stream, I'll come on and make a video and say, dang, it ain't going to work. But I'm pretty sure it's going to. Because somebody else live streams from there. So if he can, I can. It's going to be so cool. So hopefully that's next week. You guys get to see a little special live stream. And I've got some special guests coming in June, uh, June 18th or 19th. Let me see here. May, June, June 19th, I'm going to have a special guest right here in the studio. So, I'm not going to tell you who that is, but there's another one to look forward to. So, we got Everton, really? That's the, that's the guy for the uh, concrete. Uh, and he knows I do a live stream on Wednesdays. So, whatever. But Okay, could I do a live stream once? Could I do a live stream once? Well, OVR, of course you can. You can do it from your place, or you can come over here and do it from my place on a Wednesday if you want, if that's what you're asking. But, again, give me a call, text me. We can talk about whatever you were trying to get to at that. So, uh, Sparky, I would like to host one of your live streams sometime. Uh, we'll see how that goes, bud. Leisure Line Railroad, the crooked branch I've been waiting for your next story video okay we'll get to that hot rod rodney how are you bud hi sparky and everyone else um i guess i'm basically saying bye to everybody so but hopefully the live stream tonight i know it wasn't great or anything but I, like i said i was just trying to get all the manufacturers that i could together the same car show the different prices and show the different looks of them basically how much detail was placed on them or something like I said a lot of people buy online nowadays but even if you go into a store you can't open the package like they're right on top of you if you're walking around and all of a sudden you got packages open and you're looking all through the stuff they don't like that I don't know why but kind of a closer look at everything um, I'm gonna start once I do get this shed actually up and running type thing one of the first things to go in it's gonna be the studio the lighting's gonna go out there better computer Better cam or better camera for sure. So hopefully this all goes up and not down. So, but that's pretty much what I got, guys. So like I said, JP videos tonight at nine o'clock, not eight thirty, for a Steam Town video. Should be a lot of fun. I'm gonna be there, so I hope to see everybody else there. 
Uh, there's Mr. Vinny saying, see you guys all on Friday. And that one's at 8 p.m. Eastern. I really do, I don't talk this much during the day. And then I get here and I talk for an hour. Oh, man, I'm losing it all. Uh, so, yeah, check out our cousin Vinny on Friday nights. We got Hot Rod Rodney tomorrow night. And we got On Track Tuesdays. Now, who's coming up for that? I think that's Dave Durbin's coming up again on that one. Uh, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. And probably, like I said, Just Nate's coming out in June on Mondays. So, should be pretty good. Ralph Greenwood, how are you, bud? And that's, like I said, that's pretty much all I got, guys. So, throw up your channels. Tell everybody to check you out. Say hi. All that good stuff. I'm going to see if I can find the end stream button because that's pretty much done it for me. Uh, good show, bro. Thank you, sir. Uh, enjoy tonight's show, and I'm a fuss pot. Well, thanks, Digger. Like I said, it wasn't, a, it wasn't anything special. I have been thinking about it for a couple weeks, guys. So I just wanted to kind of, even for a lot of my live streams are for my own curiosity. They really are. I want to know something. So I figure if I want to know the answer to something, Somebody else out there probably does too. So why not throw it in a live stream? Do it together. So I thought that was pretty cool. Aloha, Milton. Take care. How are you? Uh, I'm fine, Sparky. That's good, Ralph. <laughs> Robert Sacco. Damn, I'm late. No, you're early for next week if you just like hang out for like seven days. We're all right. Nora, have a good night. Take care, everybody. Kenneth Amos Jr. Later, Sparky and everyone. Don't forget, guys, hit the thumbs up button on your way out the door for me. Hit the bell. Then you won't miss anything on Wednesday nights. And, uh, hey, there is the super chat thing. You can always throw me some super chat on your way out. And I can, like, end with, I can end with this big thing right back here. I got the button. I got the button right here. I got the button. I got this button. Makes that work. It's really cool. <coughs> Iron Horse Root, have a good night. Good night. Talk to you later. See you, Digger. Awesome, Jay. I'm probably not popular enough. Well, you got to work at it. Growing a YouTube channel takes a lot of work, I'm going to tell you. And everybody in here will, will, will tell you that. So keep posting videos. Do it on a regular basis. Just make sure they're good videos. You do bad videos, people know this, that, too. So <laughs> Ralph Greenwood's 4533. Yeah, that'll catch up later on when it goes to the recorded version. So that's cool. But that's all I got, guys. I'll leave you with this. Why not? It's a little bit of a teaser. Next time, that's got to be a super chat. We'll talk to you later on. Thanks for stopping by. And bye for now, guys. Bye.